So we're moving our miles But the music is loud And we can't make it out What are we trying to say? From being a child star to competing on Eurovision, Johnny Manuel has achieved quite a lot. Witnessing the young musician captivate every judge on the panel during his audition for America's Got Talent Season 12 was truly a remarkable experience, even for those who only caught a glimpse of his viral performance. It was clear that he was going to go places, but no one could have expected just how far Johnny was capable of going once he was given the opportunity and allowed to seize it. And even with a musical career that feels long and arduous, Johnny Manuel seems intent on going beyond what our life often promises and proving himself to be a name that will soon be on everyone's lips, synonymous with legendary musical artists today. So join us as we take a look at exactly what happened to Johnny Manuel from America's Got Talent. Followed all the right signs, think I found a second chance, second chance. Like many viral sensations before him, Johnny Manuel grew up with a fond attachment to music. In Flint, Michigan, Johnny grew up mimicking the notes he heard on the radio and would always have to be pulled away from the device. Even so, his musical journey began with him singing in church, and call it luck or a rare stroke of fate, he was discovered. After covering a Run DMC song, he was signed to a record deal with Warner Brothers. He started working with mentor Jermaine Dupri, who helped produce four tracks for Johnny's debut LP, I Got You. Released on July the 10th, the album is unavailable on streaming platforms. However, the amusing music video for the title track and lead single can still be found on YouTube. Truly, the internet does not let anything die. Johnny's career was on an upward trajectory. Entering the industry at such a young age provided him with access to opportunities and valuable learning experiences that are often hard to come by later on in life. As a teenager, he was getting to open for artists like Lil Bow Wow alongside Lil Zane and B2. He was garnering attention from major hip-hop groups and learning the business side of things. But nothing lasts forever. Lil Johnny's singing dreams were soon crushed when he was dropped from the label for mysterious reasons. Naturally, this left the young singer incredibly heartbroken. The result of this heartbreak was most evident in the resulting silence. If you were a fan of Lil Johnny back then, you would have been lucky to catch a peep from the young man, who seemed to have sworn off music altogether, at least publicly. However, luckily for us, his attachment to music was far stronger than his desire to let go of his dreams, and he returned once again to step into the world of professional music. This time, though, he took a slightly more intentional approach, and that's how we ended up seeing Johnny Manuel audition on the 12th season of America's Got Talent. There's not much we can say about Johnny Manuel on America's Got Talent that hasn't already been said before. Sometime between fading from the limelight and ending up on AGT, Johnny had moved to LA. He lucked out again after being asked to sing a George Michael song at a singer's night in North Hollywood. Fate gave him a shove back into the music industry, in the form of a producer from America's Got Talent being present in the audience at the time. He asked Johnny to audition on the show, and at first, the singer was not sure if he wanted to do television, but figured it wouldn't hurt to try. And fortunately enough, his attempt was a success, as Johnny's audition went so viral that it attracted the attention of producers that would help him later down the line. Though he managed to get yeses across the board at his audition, it wasn't until the judge cuts round that he finally got the golden buzzer that everyone knew he deserved. After Simon asked Johnny to sing his audition song again because he felt something was missing, it was guest judge Seal who ended up progressing the singer directly to the quarterfinals with his golden buzzer. After two stunning performances of Jennifer Holliday's And I'm Telling You I'm Not Going and his original song titled Blind Faith in the quarter and semi-finals respectively, Johnny was unfortunately eliminated from the show. But like most good things in life, a surprise was headed his way. Though the singer could not cut it in the show due to being outvoted, the doors of opportunity were just opening up for him. The producer who contacted him shortly after his audition went viral was from Bulgaria, a testament to just how viral this video was at the time of its release. A determined Boris Milanov wrote to Johnny's management, claiming to be interested in producing music for him. Over the next few months, the two worked extensively over Zoom, but his producer was secretly working on a side project for Johnny. This project turned out to be a positive one, as he sneakily submitted Johnny's new music to Eurovision as part of a team of local and international artists, and lo and behold, Johnny's entry was accepted. Johnny Manuel became Bulgaria's entry for Eurovision in 2018. Not two weeks later, Johnny was in Bulgaria, starting preparations for the year's biggest singing competition. 
As an American, Johnny knew little of Eurovision, but it did not take him long to fall in love with the concept and his team, Equinox. A love affair that lasted three months, Johnny described it to be one of the best experiences of his life, and that's partly because of just how at ease he felt in such an environment. But not everything was that easy, since it was his first time performing with a group. The group Equinox ended up finishing in 14th place at the 2018 Grand Final after a stunning performance of Johnny's Bones, and though the team has long gone since performing together, it's still one of Eurovision's most well-liked entries to date. Amidst this, Johnny has been consistently releasing music that was generally well received by general audiences, even if it did not have a lot of reach. In 2017, he released his first set of singles, two amazing songs, Come Alive and Blind Faith. Only two years later, he collaborated with Terry Dexter on the song I Remember, another song that might not have received much overt love, but the people who did listen seemed to enjoy it a lot. He then released more songs while competing on The Voice in 2020, but we'll talk more on that in a second. By 2020, Johnny had considered moving to Australia from LA after meeting Australian actor and musician Hugh Sheridan in a city. During his stay in Perth, he decided to audition for The Voice Australia, and to aid him on his journey, he met up with Prinny Stevens, who had a fair bit of experience working on the show. All of this, however, was made difficult by the fact that Johnny had not even received his visa yet. But he did not let that stop him from delivering one of his best performances yet in the form of Diana Ross's Home on the Blind Competition Show. His vocal prowess impressed the judges so much that all four of them turned their chairs in an audition that currently has over 3.2 million views on YouTube. His vocal coach on the show, Guy Sebastian, and he had a pre-existing connection in the sense that they both competed on Eurovision, though in different years. With Guy's guidance of his natural talent, Johnny Manuel went on to garner a sizable following during his time on the show. And more than that, he finished as runner-up on The Voice and released some of his covers on the show in his LP, Say It. In the same year, as one of the worst tragedies struck mankind, Johnny kept making music despite going through a hard time himself. In 2021, via the Daily Mail, Johnny revealed that he had lost two family members and a close friend to the illness. Even so, he found his solace in music and released his original singles Lost in the Music and Sober, both of which were produced by Michael Fakin and are to this day his most successful songs according to streaming services. The very next year, Johnny released his single Again, a celebration of all the parts of himself he was forced to shun. And continuing with this theme of authentic music, he soon released his EP Younger Skin with the extremely vulnerable track Out of Time, which tells the story of who he is as an artist as he told who, what, where after the song's release. The story of Johnny Manuel is both ongoing and fascinating. The young teen who got picked up for his musical prowess and then subsequently dropped would have never expected what he would manage to achieve in his musical career by his mid-30s. Now, the status of an international musician barely fits all that Eurovision star Johnny Manuel has managed to do with his life, and his growth has been mesmerizing to track. The evolution in his music perfectly contrasts how he has grown in his real life and his music, though seemingly not everyone's cup of tea yet, is surely on the right track.